Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin and I'm cooking at home. You know, one of the best things that I do is what we call fromage four, strong cheese. This is a recipe inspired by my father. He used to do that many, many years ago. At that time, we didn't have food processor, anything. So he used to get leftover cheese, from hard cheese to, to goat cheese to whatever, put them with a bit of white wine and some bouillon of some soup, and put them in a jar and let it ferment it in the cellar. Then he mash it up into a puree, and that's what we call the fromage four. So that's what I do here. A lot of people throw cheese out. Look at all that array of cheese. I, I uh, went through all my refrigerator here, freezer. So usually I would start with the hard cheese to do in there. So uh, see what it looks like. You know, you may have to trim it. Like here, maybe I'll trim a little bit of the other side here. But I mean, even if there is a bit of mold, you know, cheese, especially like blue cheese, uh, is, is what it is, you know, mold. So it's fine. So here I will cut it into pieces like this. I have that piece of Swiss cheese here. Maybe I'll take this out of it. Okay. I have a mimolette here. Mimolette is really hard. That's, so I'm gonna trim that, um, that skin on the other side. And of course, the recipe that I am doing will never be the recipe that you do. It's never the same, <laughs> because depending what's left over. And what you have to look at, look how much of the hard cheese you have, how much of the soft cheese that you have. Because if not, you may even add a little bit of uh, cream cheese, or maybe a couple of tablespoons of sour cream or something like that to soften the thing. Although we are going to put white wine in it. So, I have a piece of uh, Saint Albrecht here. This is a pretty strong cheese, and I'm, I think I'm trimming the, the outside a little bit. So it's a bit strong. A piece of blue cheese here. I think this one is Roquefort. I'm trimming the outside. Uh, this one, maybe a little bit here. This is like a gorgonzola, so it's a much softer cheese. I have some. Uh, Ooh, feta cheese here, as you can see. I have a little piece of camembert. Well, I can even leave the, the rind in it. If the rind is not damaged, it's fine. And here, a kind of Saint Paulin, which is a very strong cheese, where I'm going to trim that also. So, this is my soft cheese. I am going to start Okay, I have a pound of cheese all together here. Oh, and I have a, a slice here of, you know, the, the American cheese. You know, and that's good. Anything good. I have like four cloves of garlic here. I'll, I'll trim, crush them a little bit, put them in the food processor. You can have less garlic or more. For me, there is never enough garlic, so I love garlic. Okay, so here, I'll start with the garlic. I'm going to put my hot cheese in there. Well, look, it looks pretty thick still, so I'll put the rest of the, the wine here. I'm going to put a lot of uh, pepper that I put in it. Usually, you don't need salt because the, the, the cheese is salted enough, but it's always good to test it. I'm going to clean that around. There you go, that's You know, I put that on top of soup. I put it in pasta, I put it in gratin. Gratin dish goes very, very well with it. I uh, put it in gougère, you know, the little cream puff dough that you do, the little cream puff dough that you do with cheese in it. As you see, 
quite a lot of fromage for. The best way, usually, the way we use it is just like this, on toast, and that's how I like it. Just like this. Sometimes we put it in the oven to brown it under the broiler. It's interesting because when you put it into the oven, it gets milder than when you have it untoasted. And this is going to take a couple of minutes under the broiler. A little container for me. To freeze it. And I think I'll keep this one in the refrigerator to use in the next couple of days. And here it is, beautifully golden. And as I say, interestingly enough, this is less strong than this. That's how I like it. And that's how you save money. Use your leftover cheese and do something absolutely delicious with it. Happy cooking.